Hello and welcome. Welcome to week one of our Curious Creative Collaboration. And these are the supplies that I'll be using this week. I'll list everything below in the description box. So here we go. So I don't have that much experience using modeling paste, but I I want to start by creating some texture on the page so or on the paper rather so I'm going to apply a very thin coat and then use the leaves uh, pressed into the modeling paste to add that texture and design now right off the bat I know that oh these are faux leaves by the way I found them in the garage um, I, I know that they're not I have a suspicion they're not going to be very, um, what's the word, uh, distinctive or perfect in, in, in the image. Um, what am I trying to say? The imprint. The imprint? Anyway, here we go. I'm going to do it anyway. Because once I get an idea in my head, I just want to see it through. So I'm going to let you watch this process. I'll speed it up a little bit and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay. Okay, so we need to let this dry completely. So you can just air dry or take a heat tool or a hair dryer to speed up the process. Okay, so this feels dry to the touch. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the sprays. Now, I'm using two different brands, so they will react differently. Um, I didn't give it a second thought in hindsight, so I'm starting out with the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray. And then you will see me use um, Dina Wakely's Acrylic Spray with water. So go ahead, watch the process. You'll see that I will um, try to move the paints with a brush. I don't like that, a foam brush. And then I go ahead and layer a piece of paper on top um, just to remove some of the pigments. And you know, it's okay. I also found out that the water must have activated the modeling paste again you know I'm I'm no expert and so you will see how um, it becomes more wet and I have to dry it again so bear with me watch the process it's probably easier than me talking through and then once again I'll meet you at the end
dry to the touch now and I really like this ethereal look. Now again, we don't see the leaf impressions very well, but you and I know that they're there. So that again adds to the texture and it's time to add even more uh, water soluble products. And just remember every time you add water, what's already there may move, but I don't have a lot of color there, so I think it'll be okay. So once again, I'll have you watch the process and um, I'll have some notes along the way. I've let this dry completely and now you're seeing close-ups of the texture and I really love that pop of fluorescent pink there and the little tones of purple that you see throughout. I hope it's not making you dizzy and I wanted to turn the page so you can see you don't need to work in the same orientation. I happen to but um, it's, it's always good to turn your work around and just looking at it from a different orientation kind of helps you, instruct you on what to do next. And we're not done yet. I want to use Dina Wakely products here next. Um, a set of her stamps and these fabulous scribble sticks. I've done this process before on videos. It's very simple and uh, really I, I just I just love this technique. You'll need some water and all you do is dip the crayon into the water and then color the stamp. 
Couldn't be simpler, but the impact is really wow. Um, I couldn't find a block that was big enough. I have one, but I was too lazy to look for it. So here we go and um, enjoy. For my last step, I want to add some scribble marks, and I bet all of you have a Stabilo All Pencil, but did you know they come in other colors as well? I think I'm missing, let's see, um, I find my orange one, but I believe there's a green one as well. I have to look up all the colors that are available, but for um, to finish off this page, I want to go ahead and use the yellow. So I'll be making marks and showing you close-ups at the end. And I just want to thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed our first week of this collaboration. And if you do decide to play along with us, I hope that you tag us and can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, guys, have a fantastic week. Take care. Bye.